Good morning. We are here at the Lakeland Antique Mall and we are going to see if we can find some vintage Christmas today. I want to go towards the Disney side. Let's go this way today. Oh, look at the, uh, the, do you see the, uh, Splash, Splash Mountain log plume? Mm -hmm. That's so cool. So we are looking for Christmas. Look yeah, lots of pins. Christmas ones right there. Yeah, Christmas pins. Orange burr pins. Yeah. This booth has all kinds of cool sewing, vintage sewing items. Wee Walker shoes. Cookie cutters. Not that I need any more cookie cutters because I have so many of them. There's some cool ones in there. So I found some little vintage, lots of little golden books, which are cute. See if there's any that I don't have. All right, so I see these plates. I think these are Corning ware. Looks like Christmas ones, if I can remove these. Yeah, gingerbread men. Those are cool. crazy daisy I have these I have lots of those all right this is cute this is a cookie cookery cookbook with lots of Christmas cookie recipes which is five dollars I might pick that up but then there's also a bunch of little ornaments this is a little Christmas ornament book which is really cute. Five dollars. Victorian style Christmas book. There's two of them. Those are cute. There's um, a bunch of ceramic Christmas trees up here also. And they have the replacement bulbs and birds which I might need for a couple of them that I have. Check out this, Babes in Toyland Color Forms. That is really cool. $40, but that is very nostalgic. So cool. So this place has so much memorabilia from Disney, which is really cool. These are from the Grand Floridian, these chairs. And I see Christmas stuff over here, so I am heading over to the Christmas stuff. Lots of Christmas. This is really cool. A vintage centerpiece. Two little singing girls and a candle. It's $30, but that's really cool. 
So I thought this room was really cute. It's set up to look like a little bedroom. Like all the booths are individually run. So you can kind of do whatever theme you want. But this one has all kinds of cute like memorabilia from like the 80s and 90s. Really cute. I guess 80s, 90s and 2000s. Like early 2000s. But cute. Lots of Disney, vintage Disney stuff. All right, friends, we are back home after an, an amazing little shopping trip to the Antique Mall. I think it's called the Antique. Yeah, it's the Lakeland Antique Mall. I think that's what it's called. But I love that store. It's just off of I-4 in Lakeland, Florida. I'm telling you, you can get lost in there. It is so big. They have so many good vintage items. Um, there's so many booths. There's just It's just a really, really fun place to go check out if you like vintage and if you're in the Florida area. If you want to do something different than the normal theme parks, take a drive to Lakeland. It's not that far. It's about a half hour drive from Disney. Um, go to Lakeland. Check out the um, Antique Mall. I'm telling you, if you're into this kind of thing, you will not be disappointed. I grabbed a basket full of stuff today. I'm going to do a haul for you guys. But yes, let's get started with this. I went today specifically looking for vintage Christmas items. Now, I got a bunch of different things. Not everything is vintage Christmas, but I got a lot of really good vintage Christmas. And I did pass on a few vintage Christmas items, too. There was a few blow molds that I really love, but I really don't have the space for them. Um, as soon as we get a bigger place, I definitely want to start collecting some of the larger vintage blow molds. Um, I do have a few small ones now. Um, and then I did pass on a, color, a couple other vintage ornaments. Um, but let's, let's get started. Okay, so first off, um, I found a booth that had all kinds of like littles. And I'm always looking for littles, especially right now. I'm making a lot of, I'm using a lot of little items in crafting um and in all of my crafting pieces making tassels for journals i'm going to be listing a bunch of tassels in my etsy shop here very soon so i've been looking for lots of little fun pieces little toys little trinkets to go on to tassels um so i got a whole little box i think this was a <laughs> whoever this seller is they use um berry boxes and they fill them up with just like little little things so i have a bunch of little toys i think these are like those little mini brand toys and a bunch of them are like little vintage style min, um, mini toys like this guy right here this little mini telephone a little mini candy land little my little ponies there's three different little mini po my little ponies in here we got tinker toys um a little sand bucket with shovel um, so yeah, just a bunch of really cute miniature things in here. This is um, Barrel of Monkeys. What else did I get? Oh, some uh, Transformers. So yeah, these uh, these aren't really vintage, but I think the series was a um, little mini Pictionary. The series is supposed to have like vintage toys. So I definitely did pick that up. Um, so that was a really fun little find. Okay. Then I also got, I was looking for a lot of new old stock Christmas decorations. So I did find quite a few. This is um, Sterling Itty Bitty Collection Bows designed for small Christmas trees. They're little plastic bows. And um, I don't know, this doesn't have a year on it. It is definitely vintage. Um, probably 80s, I'm thinking. Um, but it was a dollar for these. So these are super cute little vintage bows. These I'm always looking for. The little vintage reindeer, the little plastic reindeer. These are so good for um, decorating. And these ones I paid uh, $6, so they would be $3 a piece. Um, but they're hard to find, and so I definitely grabbed those. Okay, this is another 
new old stock that I could not pass up on. It is the Walt Disney Company Santa's World. Um, definitely vintage. This was only $4 for this little Donald Duck um, decoration. It didn't, didn't say what it was for a decoration. I think it's... Um, a garland so I think you like pull him apart and like he it's like a garland that shows him front and back um, but I thought that was so adorable and again this one is not dated but it is definitely vintage so very cool on that one um, here's some more little vintage new old stock pieces here's a little vintage Santa Claus a little gift and a little um, bottle brush tree and it is uh, a little kitschy ornament package right there and so this one was three dollars and 25 cents these I actually have a few of these um, already that I had gotten from someplace else but they are so cute they are these little mini um, 1980s mini puffy fabric um, Santa ornaments and this is a set of five um and they're just little small little santa ornaments you can see them in there they're all a little bit different some of them are holding a star some of them are this one right here is holding like a cupcake or something this guy's got a little puff on his hat so they're really they're just cute i think they're super cute and then they also had a bag of four um little snowmen and same um puffy fabric but those were really cute. And these were $5 each for the pack. Oh, this one was $5.25 and this one was $4.99. So I grabbed those because, again, things like this are so hard to find. And if you can find them, um, definitely pick them up. All right, I did get another uh, elf. He's a little bit, I don't know what is on his face. He's, he's a little on the rough side. But I think he can be fixed up. Um, but he was only $2 and 95 cents and it looks like his pants were even stitched on. Um, he's a little knee hugging elf. Thought he was cute. He has little bells on his shoes. So for $2 and uh, 95 cents, he was definitely a steal. So I definitely grabbed him. Whenever I find elves, I always take them. I, I find them at the Goodwill bins a lot, but this guy was definitely a keeper. Um, this is probably the find of my basket right here. This guy right here, I did pay a little bit more for him. Let's open him up and see what he actually looks like. Okay, so he is a little mid-century ornament and it's a little sleigh. It almost looks like it's a handmade sleigh, um, like a little cardboard sleigh with a little bit of greenery. He is adorable. I paid $10 for this one. Um, I don't think this was overpriced. I think this was a really good buy for this little piece right here. He does have a little star um, on there as well, but he is very cute. Very, very cute. I think that is adorable. That's actually something that I could try to remake um, in a crafting project. So that's kind of why I bought him because I thought he would be really cute um, as a remake project. Um, so yeah, this I think was probably one of my favorite finds that I got today. Although I did get so many really good pieces. I just saw him and I thought he was really adorable. He's probably from the 60s, I'm thinking, but very cute. Okay, let's keep digging in because there's so many more goodies in here. A three pack of Care Bears. Now, again, I haven't opened these guys up yet either. Um, I couldn't see a date on the feet on these ones. I'm thinking they're 80s. They look like the 80s Care Bears that I remember as a kid. Um, but look at these guys right here. So I'll have to look it up. There is no date on them, but they definitely look like the 80s ones. This is Fun Shine Bear. And then we have, what was that one? Sleepy Bear or something like that? Or Good Night Bear. That one was cute. And then there was the little, the purple one right here. But all three I thought were really cute and they'll be great um, made into charms. So I definitely grabbed those and they were um, $7 for three. All right, here was another really good buy. These are Disney blocks and these are definitely older. 
I don't know what year these are, um, but check, check out some of these. This one, um, it's got Jiminy Cricket on it. That one is cute. We have got Figaro. We've got Flower from Bambi. We've got Dumbo. We've got Fiddler Pig. We've got uh, Practica Pig. I think that I don't know. I can't read that one. Pfeiffer Pig and Louie. So some really cute vintage um, Disney blocks in there. Um, and then, oh, I got these. These are some picks. A 10 pack of, this is new old stock again, um, Santa picks. So they're little Santa Claus on like little appetizer picks. And I paid $5.50 for these. Again, things like this are very hard to come by. So when you find them, you kind of have to grab them. They're very cool, very retro. Uh, so those were fun. I also picked this up, a bag of um, Disney characters. We have, let's open these up. On. we've got Pluto and are these guys marked at the bottom they are but I can't read them either but there's our Pluto we've got Mickey and we've got Donald and we've got Daisy so I'm thinking these are probably 80s-esque as well they look to be like 80s toys um, but I thought those were really cute also. And they're a nice size to make into something or to use in a project. So, and those were only $4, so a dollar a piece for each one. All right, we're still digging. I have a lot of things. This is going to be a good size haul today. These I thought were very cute. They're these little Christmas mouse ornaments. They were $2 a piece. And... I was looking for more, but they only had two. They had a basket. Some One of the booths had a basket um, with all vintage ornaments in it. And they are Tattletales, handcrafted bisque porcelain ornaments and from Gifco. So we have this one right here, a little mouse with cheese and a little green, um, in a green coloring with a little ribbon around the bottom. And then we have this one, which is red. And they both still have the tags. So they are like new old stock as well. But I can't look at the little tail on this one. Did this one have a little tail too? Oh no, this one looks like the tail was broken. It did have a little tail, but it looks like the tail was broken on this one. They're still really cute though really adorable and for two dollars i that was a good buy so i had to grab those all right we're still digging okay more miniatures i'm going to show you two bags of little mini things now these don't necessarily look like they're vintage items but a lot of them are the cute little miniature items that can be turned into like this little guy right here look at him how cute is he if i can turn him around little bird there like little little mini toys and they were only two dollars a bag so you're getting a ton of little things for two dollars to and these are great for like making charms and um you know if you're just wanting like little things for kids like for prizes or anything like that i love like this kind of little thing like a little miniature car in there so lots of really cute little things which was fun. And again, the price was not bad on these at all. So many good little things in here. So I'm going to have to really go through here and pick out the ones that I want to use in charms and the ones that I want to use for other things. But there's a lot there. So Jameson and I will have fun with those, I'm sure. Okay, then I thought this was very cool. And how, like, you're, I, I, since I do crafting, I'm always looking looking for crafting supplies, but this is actual vintage glitter that's still in the um, little glitter jar from Atkins, Atkinson's. It was 99 cents, but it's vintage glitter. Still in the little jar, Ross glitter right there. 
Ross glitter, brand new jar of glitter, vintage glitter, and I paid a dollar for that one. So I can use real vintage glitter in some of my crafting projects. I just think that is so cool for a dollar. All right, what else? Just digging in here. Oh, cookie cutters. I really don't need more cookie cutters, but I saw these cookie cutters and thought that they would be great addition to my own personal collection. They're ones that I don't have. Um, there was this one right here, which is the red plastic Christmas bells. And so I paid $1.25 for that one. We have the green wreath, and that was $1.35. I don't have that one either. This was another one that I don't have, which is the Christmas candles. Right there, the little Christmas candles. And that one was $2.59. Yep. And then this was Santa. And I couldn't remember if I had him or not. And he was only $1.55. So I'm going to check in my collection and see. Um, I've collected these little red, the vintage red plastic um, cookie cutters for a long time. These are the ones my grandmother had. Um, she gave me a few before she passed away many, many, many years ago. I was a teenager at the time. And ever since I've had them and I've collected them and every time I find more, I add them to my collection. So I have a pretty good collection of these plastic cookie cutters. I do also have some aluminum ones as well, but I really love these ones because they're very nostalgic to me. Okay, so this is not Christmas, but again, it's going to be great for Easter time. And if I'm looking to make tassels or, um, you know, charms for any type of craft, there's a little bag of these tiny um, bunny rabbit Easter ornaments. I think there's a bag. How many are in here? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. There's 14 little charms in here, and they were only $2.00. And there are some really, really cute ones in there. Some little bunny rabbits, um, some little carrots, Easter eggs, little watering can with flowers, just super cute. All right, I also got a little press. Um, someone had a little press, I think it was $1.95 I paid for this. It's a paper press or a paper punch with a nice little scalloped edge detail, which um, I, whenever I see a nice cool paper punch or press like this, I will always pick that up if it's um, reasonably priced. So that was a good find. Um, and then, oh, let's see, what else? Let's, let's dig into some of this other stuff because I did get some crafting supplies. All right, bag of vintage lace trim, a dollar. Vintage lace trim is 10 yards of vintage lace trim for a dollar. There's another one, vintage lace trim, a dollar. Very pretty. Big bag of buttons and all kinds of like little things. Mostly all buttons, some little charms, um, some little snaps, just all kinds of little things. A lot of vintage stuff in the bag. And yeah, there's some charms and stuff in there as well. What is this one? Is that, oh, little, look at a little Minnie Mouse charm in there. So cute, a little pineapple charm. And this whole bag was a dollar. A dollar for the bag of charm, uh, buttons and charms and stuff, which was a great buy. Um, this was really cool. This is a vintage Jiffy Stitchery um, Merry Christmas Santa Claus Christmas keepsake. It's a 3D ornament stitched both front and back, and the all of the pieces are right here and ready to make. I don't know if I'll actually make this or not, or if I'll list it in my shop, but I thought that was really cute. And this one was, I believe it was only a dollar as well. Just about everything that I had gotten from this one booth was on, all a dollar, with the exception of this. This one right here was five dollars, but look at all of the stuff that is in it. Let me move that out of the way. Out of the way. Lots and lots of stuff, like um, seam binding and zippers and fasteners, and we've got more wire. So all kinds of really good um, crafting items. We've got some lace in there. I'm gonna have to go through this and see what's in it. But there's some, there's some beads, some Velcro. So lots of stuff for $5. I thought that was a great buy. 
So I did buy that. Okay, and that was, I think, all of the crafting stuff. Oh, one more. One more little thing I missed. Um, a little bag of elephant charms. And I thought these were really adorable. They're just little tiny, I think they're like copper charms. Let me, yeah, they're little copper charms, I think. Little tiny elephants. I thought that they were really cute and they were only $2. So again, just another nice thing that I kind of keep on hand. Charms are always one of those things where you can always add them to something. So, all right, so that was all the crafting stuff. Now, um, I did get a couple other paper items and books, which I'll show you, as well as the basket. I got the basket also. I only paid, um, I think it was $2.50 for the basket. But I ended up taking the basket because I wanted to hold all my stuff in something. So, I got some little golden books also. We got Walt Disney's Mother Goose, which is very cute. Whenever I find um, vintage little golden books. I always try to snatch them up if they're in halfway good shape. This is um, 1974 right here and I love collecting the Disney little golden books so that one is very cute. Um, this one was three dollars. This one is the saggy baggy elephant. Who remembers this when they were a kid? I definitely had this one when I was a kid. And this one was $1.95. So really good buy on these. Um, this one is the 1974 copy as well. And then this was the Christmas Bunny. This is one of the Christmas books I don't have. I try to collect the Christmas books because um, I love using them in projects. This one is, this one actually is a newer copy. It's 1994, still vintage but a newer copy of Little Golden Book. And that was $1.95. And then this was my favorite. I got the Dumbo, the Walt Disney's Dumbo. I paid $5 for this one. Um, they did have this one packaged up nicely, which I appreciated. But there's Dumbo right there. And this one is the 19... 47. Did it say 1947? Copyright 1947. Oh no, I'm sorry. It's 1982. 1982. So it is still vintage. It's an early 80s copy, but this is a hard to find one. And I don't have a Dumbo little golden book. So I thought that was a really good, good find. So I paid a little bit more for that one, but I'm really happy I found it. I'd love to do a, a journal out of that one sometime. That one's so cute. And I could use those little elephant charms. And then last but not least, some vintage Santa Claus wrapping paper. I'm not sure how much it is. I didn't take it out, but I loved the print and it was $3.95. And I thought that was just so nostalgic and really, really cute. All right, so that is my haul, you guys. I hope you enjoyed. Please give this video a big thumbs up, like, and subscribe. Make sure to turn that little notification bell on so you're notified when I post new videos and make sure that it is set to all so that you're notified whenever I post. Okay, hope you guys have a great rest of your week and we will see you again real soon in my next video. Take care.